Hey, what is up guys? It is your boy, Kingdom Soldier, and I'm back again with another commentary, and I am excited. I am ecstatic right now. I, I just love what is happening in our community and what's happening in esports, and I'm just, I, I had to share this with you guys because I'm already like starting to put things in the works, trying to figure things out, and I wanted to share because that's who I am. I share. I don't, I'm not in this for me and just to make me happy and to make uh, and to take care of my family. I'm trying to help y'all and your families as well. And uh, so the Houston Rockets today announced, and it's all over the news. It actually went first live on Bloomberg. The Houston Rockets became the first NBA team to have to hire a front office person, an executive. And I think, let, let me tell you his exact job. Um, his name is Park, but he is the executive direct he's the director of esports development that is his job he's an executive for the rockets and his job is esports development now the good news about this for me the good news about this number one this is not the first nba team the wizards uh the golden state warriors uh the sacramento kings there are other teams that have gotten involved in esports, Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, there are people in the professional sphere. Uh, we know Rick Fox spent like almost a million dollars on the team. There are teams that are buying into esports. Now, here's what excites me. Number one, uh, esports right now is about is valued. Value the valuation says um, it's going to make about five hundred million dollars a year. But by 2019, it's said that it's going to get to a billion. A billion dollars floating around in esports, just just floating around, money going from the rich to the rich. And all I want to be able to do is figure out how I can get my hands on some of it. I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys and completely honest because I want to help you. And if you think, if you would like me to do a show where I can talk to you about how to invest in esports, how to get involved in the financial side of esports, some of it I don't even know yet. So I've already lined up some meetings with org owners and financial planners, and I'm trying to figure this out because I want to get in. I want to be involved. You know, I know that I have a personality that people like to listen to and like to watch. And when I see this happening, when I see kind of the floodgates opening, and it, 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 it's funny because, on well, sidebar real quick, you know, Killa and Felony got in this disagreement on Twitter last night for literally like two hours. And basically, Killa was saying he doesn't understand, and it's a good question, how a game that is getting worse, how players are getting bigger salaries. And my answer to Killa is valuation. Esports is valuable, but here's why people are getting paid. This is a quote I wanna read from this article in Bloomberg. What really drew me to the Rockets, and this is the guy Park, what really drew me to the Rockets was their ability to say, there are things we know and things we don't know. We know that esports is valuable, now let's take time to figure it out. Valuation means people with money see that esports is making money. That 292 million people watch esports this year. That it's only going to get bigger, you know, as phones and people are more accessible. And TV is not, be, it's starting to slowly tick away at not becoming the main medium. And even in this article, they mention Twitch and YouTube. And that's where people are learning about gaming and watching gaming events. And as this grows, you have people with lots of money. This guy got hired and they don't know what they're going to do with him. They don't really know what his job is. They're just saying, figure it out and make us some money. Like, figure out how we can make money. And it's, it's just like what happened with Casey Neistat. CNN purchased Bean, killed it, because they really just wanted Casey and his team. They didn't really want Bean. They just know that Casey has the potential to make money for them and to make them profitable and to make them profit. And so they're like, Casey, we're gonna hire you. We're gonna give you all this money. We're gonna pay for your dead company. And you and your team can figure out some media thing that CNN can do that nobody else is doing. And they believe in Casey. People invest in people. And all I'm saying is I'm going to do what I can to be one of those people that somebody wants to invest in <laughs> for esports. <laughs> now, Thorin tweeted today, and he's right. Thorin is correct. Thorin tweeted today, and he said... Um, he said the people that are going to make the most money initially with all these big companies coming into esports are people that are really not that knowledgeable 
but they seem knowledgeable and they can talk a good game. Hello, my name is Kingdom Soldier. How can I help you, billionaire? <laughs> I, I got no shame in my game, bros. I, I said in my last video, I used to BS with the best of them. Goalie used to laugh all the time on the sticks because when I didn't know something, I sounded like it. I sounded like the smartest person in the room. I remember when I first went on Esports Report and Puckett introduced me and said, this guy knows these players really well. Now he's basing that off of the pro COD profiles that I did when I researched specific players, but I didn't know everybody, you know, but he thought I did just because I could, you know, kind of talk my way out and just use my personality. And I'm gonna tell you, hey Thorin, if you're right, I hope you are. And I hope initially I do uh, somehow make some money off of this. You know, I, 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 I agree with Casey Neistat. We shouldn't be ashamed of working hard and getting paid for working hard. Casey should not be ashamed of doing YouTube and making money off of it and doing YouTube to make money. He shouldn't be ashamed of that. That's not something to be ashamed of. And right now there's a lot of pro players, ex-pro players, there's a lot of you guys watching that need to not be ashamed of using the knowledge you have to make money and to help yourself and your families and your future generations. I'm looking at this as good news, this thing with the Rockets, because I guarantee you this is going to be the first team, but not the last. When other organizations realize like, well, we need to hire a consultant. Well, we need to hire a consultant. Well, we need to hire a consultant. Somebody needs to tell us what we can do with esports. And it's so much bigger, of course, than just Call of Duty. It's actually way bigger than Call of Duty. You know, it's COS, it's CS, it's LOL, it's Gears, it's everything. Esports is going to continue to get money poured into it. Look at the Gears of War tournament that Optic just won. There was barely anybody there. There was no crowd. I mean, Hector was complaining about it on Vision. There's no crowd. But these guys still got $100,000. They still got paid. They still got cheese. Even though there was no one there, it's not about people being there. It's about the people that are watching on here in this thing right here that you're looking at. And... I understand this space. And so I'm hoping that I can somehow get involved, even if it's just putting money into a company that does esports consulting, that is publicly traded, you know, I'll try to find out, um, or helping somebody. I, I don't know what, I don't know what it's gonna be, but if you guys want me to do a video talking about how to get involved financially in esports and what this all means and how you could benefit from it, I don't care if I gotta pull on some owners, if I gotta get some people, you know, I still have all my contacts and relationships from when I was in gaming. Um, all the pros and everybody still follows me and all that. And so if I can maybe pull somebody on this on and we can talk about it, if you guys would like to see that, I would love to do that. I'll just say this, I am excited at the, at the future of esports. You know, I agree with Killa. The game may not be what it once was. It may not be as amazing and less people might be watching it, but it's valuation. Esports is valuable. And these players are gonna get bigger salaries because people are paying more money for advertising. People are paying more money uh, for their products to be promoted by these players. And so the players are gonna get more money. Why not? If you guys got any questions about this, put it in the comments below. And if you have specific questions about what's going on and about you know making money in esports and maybe investing in esports and being a part of all this money that's about to exchange hands, if, if you have specific questions that you want me to answer in another video, let me know. Nevertheless, this is your boy, Kingdom Soldier, and I will see you next time.